With the current Splatoon 3 update, in comes the chill season, and with it, 12 new weapons for us to take a look at. First, we shall take a look at the new updated variant weapons, before detailing the entirely new weapons. Are you ready? Let's hop straight into this. The Aerospray RG is here. The weapon is a golden variant of the typical Aerospray MG, and like that weapon, it too is based on airbrushes, those being tools used to apply colour onto surfaces. This one in particular could draw inspiration from the Aerograph, a type of Aerobrush with a golden bit at the bottom. Surprised this one doesn't cost a gold children license. You might notice the logo on it is also the one from Ammo Knights, meaning Sheldon probably endorsed this one himself. Returning back from the previous game is the custom Splat Shot Junior, my beloved weapon from Splatoon 2. Much like its default counterpart, this weapon pulls inspiration from cheap plastic water guns. The colours also change to fit the ink it carries, mimicking the variety of colours these toys come in. The Forge Splattershot Pro is a reskinned version of the Splattershot Pro, based on a Super Soaker CPS. Though sporting the Forge colour scheme this time, pretty cool looking if I do say so myself. The Carbon Roller Deco on the other hand is based on a paint roller, as is the case for all rollers, but this one in particular adopts elements from bicycles, with the frame having printing on it that resembles some of the bike designs. The curved frame that holds the painting part of the weapon looks like the handle of a bike, and the ink tank being held in place looks like the holder that you get on a bottle holder on a bike and the tank itself looks like a sports drink bottle. Joining the carbon roller is the latest offering from Deco, that being the Deco Slosher. This beast is based on your usual paint bucket we've all seen before, featuring a handle for easy sloshing. Next up is a splatling, this time from Zinc. The Zinc Mini Splatling one is based on an airsoft Gatling gun, which is quite apparent when you look at them side by side and compare the weapon to the real inspiration the Dapple Dooley's Nouveau is the same thing as a normal Dapple Dooley's, named after the Dapple style of painting where wool is put onto a paint roller. Though I don't know why it's not a roller and it's a dually. The Nouveau brand is known for working with brushes, so it makes perfect sense that they'd make a variant of this Dooley's with toothbrushes on the end. This weapon looks a lot like dentist equipment as well. But of course, any brand that considers itself a brush maker wouldn't be complete without having an actual brush variant, and this ink brush Nouveau doesn't disappoint, unless you were expecting something other than a reskin that is. This weapon has a tube of paint in the middle, connected to the end, which contains paintbrush bristles. Truly an artist weapon if I do say so myself, and with a French name like Nouveau, and many famous artists hailing from France in its history, it's a match made in heaven. The Lunar Blaster Neo is just like the Lunar Blaster. This new look for it contrasts the usual form, changing the white to black. Perhaps a reference showcasing the dark side of the moon. As for the body itself, you could say it pulls inspiration from an Air Zooka, given its rounded and small shape. However, I think this shape makes it feel otherworldly, and the roundness resembles the moon, hence the lunar part of the name. The Kenza Splattershot returns, this time brandishing a cool looking design. It reminds me a lot of water guns with their logos printed on the side, such as this one. But aside from that, it's designed after your typical water gun super soaker. But that's enough about the reskins, let's learn about the new weapons, shall we? First up we have the flagship weapon of this patch, the Snipe Writer 5H. I admire the look of this, as it captures something I remember using a lot at school, that of course, is an eraser pencil, held in a drawing compass. I hope the compass helps you aim shots better than it helped me draw circles back in class. Another design I love is the Big Swig Roller. Its ink tank is a soda cup. The plastic straw coming out of it helps form the painting part of the weapon. How cool is that? Though if they're still using plastic straws by the inkling age, no wonder they die when they touch water. Last and probably least in terms of new weapons, we have the Splattershot Nova. Compared to the more contemporary and 90s inspired Splattershots of old, this one appears to be more futuristic, akin to a ray gun rather than a water gun. However, it still keeps that super soaker feel that we know from Splatoon. And there you have it. There's all the weapons 
from the new latest chill patch of Splatoon 3. I know I know I haven't done all the weapons from the launch version of the game, but that's okay because those videos are in the works and they'll be coming down the pipeline very soon. What weapon from this patch do you like the most? Is there anything here you didn't know that you learnt? Or is there something that I missed out that you feel like you want to mention in the comments? Tell me down below, make sure to like this video, comment and subscribe for the next episode in this series. I also have a few other videos I want to get out, hopefully before the end of the year. So you should see this face, well not this face, but you should see me upload more videos before then. Until then though, I will catch you in the next one.